Hello YouTube, my name is Nero and welcome back to the Madden NFL 16 playthrough where the 4 and 5, what is up with that? 4 and 5 Washington Redskins will be playing host to the 9 and 0, oh, the still undefeated as horrifying as that is. Philadelphia Eagles. They have just been dominating this entire season, although there is a bit of a silver lining. We should have no injuries. Yes, we have no injuries whatsoever anymore. Jordan Reed is back. Sam Nunley is back. We are coming at them with our full potential, but judging by the fact that they are 9-0, I assume the Eagles have no injuries whatsoever either. Yeah, they have no injuries at all. I'm not even sure they've had an injury the entire season. They are horrifying, guys. The Eagles are freaking terrifying. They have one of the best rushing offenses in the league, with DeMarco Murray, their quarterback, Taylor Campbell, who was a rookie a couple years back and led, the, led his team to the Super Bowl his rookie season, is leading the league in touchdown passes the last time I checked. And that's horrifying, man. It's horrifying. 9-0. and 9-0. They are. They are dominating this year. It is Oh, my gosh. They're going to win the... Uh, NFC title, NFC East title before, like, week 10. It's, it's terrifying, guys. But we can't let that intimidate us. We can't let that intimidate us. We have to go in there and do our best. We've got to win. That's what we got to do. We got to go in there and win. And since we haven't been able to rock these jerseys in a long time, we are going to rock the 1960s throwbacks, and we're going to take on Philadelphia at home. And hopefully, we will rebound off of this three-game losing streak that we have been on. So, ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, I will see you guys when the game actually launches. Hello, everyone. I'm Larry Ridley, and this is the NFL on EA Sports. As we head towards kickoff, two quarterbacks will be on the field today trying to push their team to victory. It's the Redskins going up against the Eagles. Joe Nero, look at him, man, though. Taylor Campbell, I can't compete with Taylor Campbell. 25 to 9? He is doing so well, whereas I fit, he has like 10 more touchdown passes than me. Although, to be fair, I'm, I've got a lot more rushing touchdowns this year. Like, I've ran in some touchdowns, and I'm letting CJ Anderson run in a bunch of touchdowns as well. But still, like, they are so good on offense, and we just need to play, like, a perfect game, I feel like, to even be able to come close. Like, if I recall correctly, the last time we faced the Eagles, they scored five straight touchdowns. Like, our defense didn't, couldn't stop them at all. Like, they do it's like touchdown, 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 touchdown. Uh, got them to punt, touchdown, um, or something. It was awful. It was horrifying. But we have no injuries. Right? Everybody's here. Everybody's back. We've got Jordan Reed coming back in. Although, to be fair, Niles Paul did a great job in his absence. We've got Sam Nunley here. we got Kenny Britt, who has been doing great this whole year. We just got to go out there and execute. Got to go out there, make some plays, and not turn the ball over. <laughs> not turn the ball over. That's going to be a big one. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, go with the halfback screen right away. I want to try and put up some points kind of right away. Uh, last time we faced them, I ended up throwing an interception right away, which gave them a lot of momentum. So hopefully we can avoid that recurring. And there we go. Nice screen right from the very beginning. And now, oh, look at him go. CJ, you monster. I love throwing screens to CJ. He does so much of them. He will make something out of nothing so often on those. I just wish he could do that when running the football. He doesn't seem to do that when running. But uh, speaking of running, we're going to go back to this formation here, which we tried out a little bit last week. Now, it's like a power offense formation, right? You've got uh, your two tight ends and your fullback, and I like to run out of this formation a lot because we just have so many blockers that it's usually hard for them to get through. But there they go. We can't even get one yard when we have how many people blocking? we got five linemen, two tight ends. That's seven. We have eight people blocking. Nine. If you, I mean, literally everybody's blocking here, but come on, please get across the line. Are you serious, team? Can we try? This is pitiful. Like, oh my gosh. I don't even know what to do here. I don't even, like, that's the first drive of the game. And I'm already flustered because it's like, what do I do? Am I going to have to throw every down now? Like, is that just going to be a thing? Am I going to have to throw every down because we have no run game whatsoever to speak of? And they're, because they're going to score. They're, it's going to happen. Philadelphia is going to drive down and score. So we're going to need to put up a lot of points as well. But I don't want to just throw every single down. That's just, it's silly, right? Uh, what I would not give for a running offense. What I would not give, ladies and gentlemen. Now, let's watch as they drive down. And, oh my gosh, we stopped them. All right. All right, we did stop them. I'm very happy about that. Last time we played them, that did not happen ever. So, <laughs> I'm pretty happy that that, uh, that ended up working. So, let's see here. Look for Jordan Reed or look for Sam Nunley coming across. And it's going to be no one. Actually, my running back was very open right there. My running back was actually very open. I didn't realize how open he was going to be, but I'll take 11-yard carry. 
If we don't want to have a run offense, I will be the run offense. How about that? How about that? Let's go play action scissors. I like play action scissors out of this formation because the fullback's already like really far out. And they have like no safety back there covering Jordan. Which I find to be odd. Holy goodness. <laughs> Welcome back, Mr. Reed. Welcome back, Mr. Reed. There we go. All right, let's try a halfback blast here. I'm trying to get you guys involved here in the run game. I'm going to try. Whether you want to or whether you want to or not. We're going to do this. Now, all right, so far, three carries for one yard. I'm really thinking we might have to abandon the run game pretty early against these guys. We'll have to see. We'll have to see. Now, they're bumping up a lot of people here, which is usually indicative of a... Uh, of a blitz of some kind. So we're going to try for the double goes. I don't, I think they're going to be bluffing though. And they're all actually going to drop back in coverage. But if they do, uh, my fullback or my tight end should be open. And nine. All right. Yeah. They were bluffing. And there's my fullback. Very nice. And looked like a face mask to me. I'm just saying his head, his hand was around the helmet, but uh, no call. So no go. Let's go for the F trail. Let's go for the F trail. We got to finish this. We got to finish off this drive somehow, boys. We got to get at least a field goal here. Got to get at least a field goal. And there's the fullback. There. <laughs> 57 yard field goal seems silly to even attempt, right? That seems silly to even attempt. I think we'd honestly be better off if I actually just straight up go for it here on fourth. Now, we could punt, but that's just going to give them the ball on like their 20 yard line. They want me to go for a field goal. I don't. I honestly don't think a 57-yard field goal is even viable here. So we're going to just look for Jordan Reed right there. Catch that for love of criminy. There you go. <laughs> that reminds me of an old route we used to run. Oh, gosh. That was a tight end like in middle school. And we used to call it like tight end fire, I think, where essentially uh, they snapped the ball, and I, I would run straight down the field as a tight end, and he would just fire it to me like really quick just like that. Um, it, wasn't, it wasn't designed to be a post route or anything. It was just basically I run down the field straight, and he throws it to me within like five yards or something like that. And uh, it actually worked out quite a bit because as soon as I passed the linebackers, he would throw it and I'd be there. I play a lot of positions in football. I play tight end, running back, quarterback, wide receiver, safety, defensive end, linebacker. Um, it's a big benefit of being somebody who's like, I was really tall for my age. And I also, as a result, weighed a little bit more than most people. Like, I, like, I wasn't heavy. I just had a big frame. I was just a big person, um, especially in my earlier years. So I got to play a lot of positions. Let's see here. Thinking now is Paul's going to be very open here. And he kind of what? Really? Really? Really, line? Why do you guys, like, why did we pay you money? I really wonder. Where's the old, there it is. Let's try and hit the old sluggo seam. But uh, their safety is really good, though. What's his name? Malcolm Jenkins, I want to call him. They have a really good safety there. And so the sluggo seam may not actually be there. There it is. Oh, no, it isn't. He freaking jumped up right into it. Right into it. Oh my gosh. I'm going to break records for interceptions this season. I really am. <sighs> and there's their points. Come out here to dive, I suppose. Like, it's getting to the point where I feel as though there's only like five plays in my entire offense that are actually freaking viable. Like, it's getting to that point. I've played four seasons with the Redskins now. I've seen almost every play in their playbooks, and the majority of them just simply don't work. You know, we go play action scissors a lot. We go with the with the fade smash a lot. We go with uh, mesh a lot and stuff like that because literally nothing else freaking works with these guys. Nothing. Oh, please don't catch me. Please don't catch me. You're not fast enough. Woo, there we go. Nothing seems to work, man. I don't know. It's a bit frustrating. It really is. Because whenever I try something new, it just, it, it just doesn't work. And then there's always the fact that, of course, Madden will update their game and allow me to ever, you know, practice. Even, I've, I've actually started tweeting at them and tweeting pictures of them. Like, hey, look, it's been locked for four seasons. Like, can I actually have this? Not a single reply. They don't give a damn. They're not going to update their game. Like, the game, like they're not even going to do a roster updates anymore. They don't care. Let's hit Jordan Reed here. Four of seven. It's not, I'm not doing bad stat-wise. Interception was awful. Wish I could have that back. But my defense is actually, like, working for me this week, which is disappointing, honestly. And, oh, my gosh. Of course he somehow just ball hawks that. These guys are so fast. So fast. 
But my defense is actually holding up here, and I'm I, and I'm not finishing any of my drives, and that's super frustrating. It really is. And okay, why did I drop back so far? There's no reason I should have had to drop back that far, but I'll I'll take it. I'll just run it. Screw it. I'll run it. I'll run it myself. We don't need a running back. I'll run it my damn self. What we got here? Oh wait, different formation. Different formation. Uh, not that one. Uh, no, it's out of the strong. And where is it? It's somewhere here. But I, uh, no. Okay, I'm just gonna play action scissors. I was looking for play action end around. What formation was that in? I like to play action end around play a lot. And there's Mr. Paul. Good catch, buddy. Good catch, buddy. Driving down the field. Driving down the field. We're going to go for an F trail, but to the opposite end of the field. I'm not throwing towards Jenkins' side anymore. Screw that, man. It just isn't worth it. It just isn't worth it to try and throw over there. He is a ball hawk. If I, like, in the purest sense of the word. Oh, gosh. Woo hoo hoo. Somehow got away. Oh, come on, man. Come on, man. Good job that time by the quarterback. Uh, what we got? What we got? Uh. CJ, you're tired, so we're gonna we're gonna run a wait a minute, wait a minute, better idea. Uh, is it this formation? We're gonna keep CJ in, I think. And there it is, the old Y corner. The running back, don't know why, is usually open on this play. I don't know what about it, but he usually is. And if he's not, then I can maybe dump it off to like Hakeem Nix. And it's not there. Ugh, come on, everyone's being covered so well, and I'm not like getting any pass protection either. I need time to let routes develop, team. It's got to be done. It's got to be done. All right, so Mr. Sam Nunley on the mesh. And judging by how far over their corner is, it looks like they're going to be in zone, which is going to really hurt that. So we're going to look to see if maybe Nix wants to get open. And, I mean, you're open there. Sam was kind of open, I guess. I mean, he was actually really open, if I remember correctly. But I saw my him being, I don't even know. I saw the tight end being open. I just want to dump it to him. We're going to go for the field goal, tie it up, and continue to lean on our defense. I mean, we finished the drive. We scored. I wish we could have done that on the first couple of drives. But very nice. Very nice. Not bad. Please stop him, defense. Oh, my gosh. Defense, man. I, I got to do something for my D. I got to do something for him. They're doing so well here. They're doing so well here. So let's get down there and get some points. All right. Let's just let them right through. Screw it. And. Oh, come on. You have to stop or go upfield. I wish I could have directed him to go upfield. He had so much space. He had so much space. <laughs> oh, my goodness, man. All right, Mr. Nunley. How are you feeling here, bud? Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. All right. Y is very open. And there. What kind of a throw was that? Was it because I got hit? Was it? I don't understand how people can typically be so covered, yet I have no pass protection. Like, usually it, it, you have to pick between the two. It's either, okay, we're going to blitz them really hard and, uh, hope, and, you know, hope that we get to them or cover them really hard and make it so he has all time in the world to try and pick defense apart. Usually there's not so much in between. There's a lot of in between so far this week. And... Of course I'm going to take off with it. Screw it. I'm going to put team on my back. Team on my back. All right. What do we want? What do we want? What do we want? What do we want? I know what we want. It worked well at the end of last game, so we'll try it here. And there we go. The old four verts. The old four verts. Just to try and at least get down the field goal range. That's all I'm really after here. And all right. And block, please. Two of you. He got past two of you. Oh, my goodness. Come on. Ah. Uh, yeah, it's not a good job by the quarterback. Oh, yeah. You, you can't get rid of the football even though nobody was open. And you, they only sent three people and they still got through. That's all on the quarterback. All right. Uh, he actually caught that? <laughs> Very nice. I did not expect him to actually catch that. Oh, they're not even going to let me uh, try it. Okay, go for the field goal. Yeah, he made it. Freaking beautiful. All right, first half is behind us, boys. Let's, whew. 
we gotta, we gotta zen out here for a second, right? You gotta relax. I'm, I'm, I'm not gonna lie, I'm very salty this episode. And I think with good reason, I apologize for that though, but we were on a three game losing streak here, or is it four? I forget, we lost so many games this season, I can't even keep track. And I wanna turn that around, especially against the Eagles here. And oh, we get the ball back again. Like our defense is doing so well. And we got the ball in the 45 of all things. Very freaking nice. I just really, I'm, I'm playing on tilt so bad because we've been losing so much. You know, so I'm really, and I'm throwing an interception early and just, uh, I apologize for being so salty, but still, I'm really, really passionate about this series. And I really want to win. <laughs> and there we go. I mean, you're wide open. I'm just going to dump it off here. Oh, come on. Come on. I just was talking about how positive we're going to be. <laughs> Never lucky, boys. Never lucky. All right, they only got a field goal. They've only got a field goal. We need to score here. CJ's got six, huh? Let's see here. Uh, right here is where we're looking for. We're going to look for the old Y corner. I'm going to look for CJ initially. If it's not there, look for someone else, right? Easy enough. And drop him back. And there's the wide open running back. I don't know why that works. That's It's just one of those plays that works out well. It's all about finding what plays work for you and your offense. I just wish there was more of them per formation. Like, I noticed, like, if I go into, like, a certain formation, there's, like, two or three plays out of that formation that I'm going to be running. Uh, I mean, there he is again. I mean, he's not getting a lot of yards with it, but, I mean, how can you deny, like, five, six yards every single time? It's great. We're going to see if we can catch him with a slant. The idea is to try and hit Mr. Nunley. Uh, I'm not liking how I'm not liking any of my options right now to be honest and just trying to get it first he's trying to get it first I have five carries for 53 yards I'm doing all the running myself here <laughs> look at the dance look at the dance all right um gosh I want to try running here I want to like let my running back get involved because I feel so it's better for the team in general if everyone gets involved because then the defense can't try and predict what I'm doing as easily um, oh, there we go. That, that might have been the first time ever a stretch has worked for us. <laughs> that may have actually been. F -tra I, I just called F Trail, but I remember Jenkins is on that side, so we're going to call F Trail to the other end and see if maybe we can get Hakeem Nixon one on one. If not, maybe our fullback. Uh, you know what? From what I can tell, you're just leaving this half of the field wide open for me to run. So I'm just going to take it. I'm just going to take it. I'm good. I don't care if I have to run for a thousand yards and throw for four thousand this season. We're gonna make the playoffs. <laughs> Let's try a screen here. Let's try a halfback screen. This is gonna be going to Rex Burkhead, the Burke man himself. Let's go, buddy. Let's go. And they're covering it. They're covering it. Ooh. Oh, look at Jordan. Did you see like how I had to throw that off of my back foot, and so it barely like, actually made it to Jordan. Like it landed a little bit behind him. Uh, wait. Am I in halfback sub? I am. All right. Let's get, uh, I'm going to try the screen again. I, I think the screen will work here. So we're going to see if we can get the CJ. And they're covering it again. You jerks. Stop covering. Stop playing defense. <laughs> well, we got Niles there, so I'll take it. I'm tired of these jerks always playing defense, you know? It's like, why? Why you guys got to be doing this to me? Why do I think mountain play action double post is going to work? Everything in my head says this is a stupid play and I'm an idiot for trying to run it. But I think that, that deep post is going to be open. Why do I think that deep post is going to be open? There it is. Oh, he, he was just cutting on the inside too. That might have actually, it might not have been there. Uh, the coverage was a little wonky. Um, I can't tell if that was going to be there or not. But I rarely have these feelings about plays and typically... It works out, so I, I usually go with my gut on those. And, uh, no! There wasn't a lot of people open, and they ended up getting through before I had time to scramble because they sent so many people. All right, third and 16. Man needs 16 yards. What do I do to get 16 yards? Not the F trail. Do we go with the play action scissors? Play action scissors, especially if I lob it and give them time to get underneath it, can typically get a good chunk of yards. Let's we'll see if my tight end is even going to be open. And he is! Uh, 
That's one of those ones where, like, I think the game, like, pre-decides that the defender is going to make a bigger push than the tight end because he was, like, going for it before the tight end and, like, Jordan didn't even, like, make an attempt to get it. That was really odd. But it's a 50-yard field goal. I have confidence that Blair is going to be able to make this. Come on, Blair. Come on, Blair. 50 yards. You can do this. You can do this in your sleep. Yeah? Good job. Freaking amazing. Blair Wall, she's a monster. He's only missed two field goals all season, and both of those were, like, above 50 yards. I think one of them was a 57-yard field goal I had him attempt. So, come on, defense. Come on, defense. Get me the win. Get me the win. Oh, my gosh, we got the ball back. They didn't score at all. Woohoo! <laughs> all right, let's go back to some nice, boring plays, boys. We got to get this W. We need, we, we need some, uh, we need the crowd to get excited here. We need some hail to the Redskins. We're going to dump it off to CJ if I can here. I don't even care. Look at him. Look how open they are on this play, man. That's a great play to run. Very good. Very, 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 very good. All right. Now, a big point of contention here. All right. Not turn the ball over. All right. That would be catastrophic. Ugh. I was a little worried about that throw because the defender was very close to him, <laughs> but it worked. I'm just really, uh, the big thing for me right now is I'm really, really, really uh, trying to get us down the field. So if we do have to punt, heaven forbid we have to punt here, the goal is to make it so they have to have terrible field position to work with and just chew the clock as much as we can. And part of that is running with Misty Anderson. Look at our rushing offense. Next to worst in the league. We're going to call a couple fake plays here. This used to work back in the day. I wonder if it was placebo or not, but, but we're going to do a couple fake snaps, a couple fake audibles, and see if that's going to help out the run game. It worked well for us in the first couple of seasons, but I kind of just stopped doing it. And uh, we're 31st in total offense. Uh, the reason why we're 31st total offense, by the way, is not because we suck. It's because we, if you've ever played like a series of Madden, um, because we play with six minute quarters and stuff, we just don't have as much time to do as many plays as like the rest of the league because they're being simulated and stuff. So that, that it's always been like that for like ever. The blocking has been par excellent so far. I'm liking it. I'm liking the blocking here. I'm afraid to throw. I'm getting to the point where I'm afraid to throw here, to be honest. Um, actually, no, we're all right here. Uh, let's do this, and let's go for a fade smash, yeah? Fade smash, and the idea is I think I want to hit, uh, who's my receiver? Stedman Bailey on the crossing route. If or if Jordan's not wide open, then just dump it. Oh, come on, team. I need a little bit of time. Can you stop with the letting them through so often? Ah, they have 63 passing yards. Yeah. <laughs> We really need a first here, boys, which means we're going to need the O-line to do the thing that we're paying them millions of dollars to do, and that is block. And Jordan. Oh, he's a monster. Welcome back, buddy. I missed you. I missed you. Let's get the zero on trap here. Now, here's the thing. Should we, in reality, shouldn't we try in? Yeah, we should try and run clock as much as we can here. Snap the ball while they're off sides. Come on. <laughs> we should uh, really try to run the clock as much as possible, right? And then score with as, like, as little time left in the game as possible. Because if we were to score a touchdown right here, they have two minutes to work with. They could easily drive down, score a touchdown, and then put us behind. We would be losing at that point and give us like 20 seconds left to win. So, yeah, let's run this. Let's. I'm just going to let the clock go down to the two. All right, go down to the two-minute warning. All right, and now uh, we just try and grind them out and force them to use their timeouts, right? Just try and grind them out. Now, here's the thing, line. I'm going to need you to block, line. Come on. There we go, CJ. Timeout. Ah, here we go. We're, 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 we're forcing some timeouts here. We're forcing some timeouts. I'm going I'm to keep running. It's like dives out of formations like this. Sound beautiful to me. I'm going to keep doing these fake audibles and stuff. Peyton Manning style, right? I stopped doing them because we started getting off sides a lot whenever I would do them. 
Or false starts, I mean. And there's CJ up the middle. Another timeout. We're making them waste it. If we could get them rid of all their timeouts, oh, that'd be glorious. Oh, man. Now, yeah, screw it. No, we're going back to the dive. I'm going to the same play. I don't even care. Same play over and over. Don't matter to me. Let's go with some Peyton Manning audibles here. Yeah. Omaha, Omaha. Hut, hut. One more fakie. Yeah. Omaha. <laughs> All right, it's now third and six, and they're out of timeouts. Third and five. He's averaging about three yards a carry on the day. Now, probably the biggest play of the game, honestly, right here. And my idea is inside cross. I feel as though inside cross is going to be good for the five yards that we need. We can only hope. And they're wide open. Get across the line, buddy. And he's not going to get across the line. All right. I don't think a field goal here matters. Um, okay, so here's my here's my philosophy here, boys. Philosophy is... I'm, I'm so nervous about this. The idea here is if we score a field goal, I mean, that gives us a field goal lead, right? And th that means if they score a field goal, um, they would have to score a touchdown to be able to... They'd have to score a touchdown to be able to win the game. Right now, if we don't get this, they have a one minute to drive down the field and score a touchdown, which we would lose anyway if they scored a touchdown. So, the idea here is is run the clock and try to get the first here with a fullback dive with Daryl Young. I think that was the right decision. Do you guys get what I was going for there? Because if I would have gotten the field goal, we would be up, what was it, 12-6, to 6, which means they have a touchdown, they win. Whereas if we go for this here, and even if we fail it and they get a field goal, that means they tie. They're not going to win with the field goal. They still have to score a touchdown either way. I, I'm okay with overtime. You know, that I think that was honestly the best call we could have made there. And now we're up by nine, which means we're pretty much going to win this freaking game. We're going to knock them off their undefeated season, which is all due to the defense, by the way, and our defense. And we're going to finally end our own losing streak. Oh, my gosh. Let's see. Okay, we're going to go to next play here. Extra point is good. We're up by 10 double digits, boys. All right, so we're, that's going to go off for a touchback. Uh, Campbell is going to have a three-yard carry, incomplete pass, and... Did they turn the ball over? Because <laughs> we have the ball on the three. <laughs> All right, CJ. Let's get some chance. CJ, CJ. Let's get the, uh, we're going to go for the mountain toss here. Mountain toss to CJ Anderson. Couple fakies, right? Get in the end zone, buddy. You earned it. Kind of. Good job. <laughs> I'm so happy. You guys have no idea. I get so frustrated when we go on losing streaks like that. And then to have a game like this where it was a good, close game throughout, but we actually came out with a win. Oh, so good. So happy. You know, it just feels good. Now we just didn't play our turn. It doesn't matter what they do now. And <laughs> we end up winning 23-6. That makes it look like it wasn't a close game throughout. That was a close game all the way until literally one minute left in the game where we end up scoring two touchdowns. Oh, my goodness, you guys. Well, the losing streak is finally over. Their winning streak is finally over. Oh, and hopefully things are going to be back on track. That's all I asked for, man. That's all I asked for. I got that off right before I got cracked right there. Look at that replay. <laughs> ah, then we got Jordan had a great game. Very nice game coming back. Very, very good. CJ, he did better this week. Um, I didn't, wasn't able to run with him as much as I would have liked to, but uh, Daryl Young. I mean, that may be Daryl's first rushing touchdown in my tenure here in Washington. Maybe. And all the crew. Nance, what a game. <laughs> what a game. Look at that, man. They could not do anything in the air, but they did everything on the ground. And to be fair, we did a lot of rushing as well, and mainly due to me. And we also uh, hit 75 passing yards. How does that even happen? Um, I don't even know where I was going with that. But yeah, wow, they even put in their backup quarterback. Did he get hurt maybe? I don't know. He went 10 of 19, 75 yards, 52% completion percentage, one interception. He averages four yards an attempt. Like, 
His longest pass was 19. Like, what happened? How? I don't even know. All right, so I went 17 and 27, 207 yards, no touchdowns and a pick. So my own passing stats were pretty bad. But I did run for 65 yards. And in a lot of situations, I kept the chains going, which is uh, definitely pretty good. Uh, Rex Burke had three for 13. Um, Daryl Young had one for four and a touchdown. Jordan, uh, eight for 124. Uh, CJ, four for 30. Kenny, uh, three for 21. Niles Paul, two for 32. And Daryl Young. I did not. I just realized Kenny Britt is my only wide receiver that actually got a catch that entire game. The rest of it was dumping it to tight ends and running backs. Wow. Yeah, I was definitely playing super conservatively that game for sure. And, uh, wow, wait a minute. Did I see Jordan Reed had five pancake blocks today? Welcome back, buddy. He's so freaking good. And then on defense, we actually had some defense this week. We had two total sacks, which is pretty good. We had two interceptions, Tyrone Collins and Tahir Whitehead, who needs to get more play time, to be honest. Just overall, the team came up. It, it, honestly, the defense is the reason why we won that game. The defense kept us in the game the entire time because even though we were really slacking on offense and I mean we were putting up points pretty consistently with field goals but we weren't doing great you know it really came down to the defense there and thank you so much defense and thank you guys for watching the entirety of the video and actually getting up to this point because it's you guys that keeps this series going and it's nice that I can like rely on the fans to you know continue to watch the series even if we are you know, going through like a rough patch I mean that's kind of fun it's just like watching the NFL you never know what's going to happen any given Sunday anything can happen and uh you know sometimes we win sometimes we have amazing comebacks sometimes we uh do ridiculously well and there's no times we do bad and we end up going on three game losing streaks and that happens you know it definitely happens we end up going i keep saying three were we on a four game losing streak or a three i can't remember and you know then we have games like this where it's very close we noticed this entire season has to be just a horrible for the viewer because it's horrible for me it's it's ridiculously frustrating for me every game if you've noticed has been close every game Except for, I think, one. Was the Panthers game the only one that, like, wasn't even that close? Like, we just kind of, like, handily won. Like, it wasn't exciting or anything. Um, the rest of the games, we either barely won or barely lost or lost by a lot. Like, every game has been an uphill battle, it feels like. But regardless, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you guys all enjoyed this episode of the Madden NFL 16 playthrough. And if you did, please drop me a rating. I hope you guys all have a wonderful day.